It is now official. Donald Trump's first criminal trial will begin right here in New York City, March 25th. Yeah, the judge announcing that decision today at a hearing downtown. Donald Trump was in the courtroom, and so was our own Morgan Mackay, who joins us now with the very details and the latest details on this. Morgan, what do you know? Chris and Bianca, the judge today kicked off the hearing by saying denying the motion to dismiss the case and announced that jury selection will begin on March 25th. He also said that he expects his trial to last about six weeks. This means that this case will be the first time a former president and potential presidential nominee will be tried on criminal charges. Now, former President Donald Trump's attorney, Todd Blanche, he was hoping to get that trial date pushed back, listing off his other court cases and, of course, his campaign schedule. Blanche also argued that it would be difficult to find an unbiased jury pool considering how much media coverage there is right now of the other cases, but the judge held firm and said that it is unlikely to change if this trial was to be pushed back. Trump was indicted by a grand jury last year on 34 counts of falsifying business records to conceal another crime. Prosecutors allege that the former president engaged in a cover-up scheme to hide reimbursement payments made to his former attorney attorney Michael Cohen, who made hush money payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels to keep her from going public about a past affair with Trump before the 2016 presidential election. Trump has denied the affair and has pleaded not guilty to the charges. Now, Trump was in court today and was thoroughly engaged throughout the hearing, leaning over to speak with his lawyers and at times leaning back in his chair in frustration. Now, before he went inside the courtroom, Trump spoke to reporters in the hallway. Everything that I've heard and read, even from legal scholars, said there's absolutely no case here. It's not a crime. Uh, this is not a crime. And when you look at what's going on outside of the streets, where violent crime is at an all-time high, uh, I think it's a very, very, it's a great double standard. Now, in a statement, Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg said he's pleased the judge denied the motion to dismiss the case and said he looks forward to presenting his case in court on March 25th. Reporting live, I'm Morgan Mackay. Chris, back to you. All right, Morgan, thank you very much.